Welcome to Pen Positive. This is Vinod Narayan. Thanks for tuning in. And Happy New Year. It's uh, 15th of January. Two weeks are over after the New Year started. But I did not make any video. So obviously, if there are people who regularly listen to or watch videos or podcasts, Happy New Year to you all. Last year, the last five videos that I did uh, last year and the five episodes on my podcast were about how to plan for the new year. We spoke about a lot of things. And during that process of making those videos, I was thinking, how would 2024 be for me? What will I do? Would anything change for the podcast and channel? And then today morning, I woke up and I read the news that uh, Microsoft, over the past 10 years, have made a 10x growth in market cap. So they, I think, 300 billion to 2.887 trillion. That is 10 times market cap in 10 years. And during the 10 years, Microsoft CEO has been Satya Narela. And probably you can, you can attribute this kind of a growth to him. But what I read and what was interesting to me is that there was a cultural shift that he brought in Microsoft. He wanted the organization to change from a know-it-all to a learn-it-all. Microsoft is a large organization. It has, it's been there for quite some time. And they've been pioneers in a lot of things. And you can obviously be in that position of know-it-all. And making that change, that mind shift, that cultural shift that people start thinking, you know, maybe we know a lot of things, but we are not know-it-all. Let's look at the market, look at how we work, how we operate, and be in the state of learn-it-all. And then... I skipped into thinking about me as an individual, we as individuals. Sometimes we also tend to think we are know-it-all. Straight from school, as we work, when we get into interview, what are we trying to do? We are, when we write a test, when we appear for an exam, we are trying to explain or write what we know to get marks, grades. And when we go for an interview, we want to impress the one who is interviewing us and make an impression that we know a lot of things. We don't talk about things that we don't know. We do tell that we are a fast learner, that we can learn, but then we don't know if the interviewer finds out that we don't know something, is that going to be a negative thing? So it is important for us as individuals to have that mind shift from being a learn-it-all, being a know-it-all to a learn-it-all. Because there's nothing called know-it-all. We might know a lot of things related to life, related to career. There are a lot of things that we might know. But we don't know everything. We cannot know it all. And we live in a world, if you're working in an organization, you have a team, there's no way that one person can know it all. So, but we all can learn it all. We are all, we all can actually get into that mindset of learning everything. But how does that learning happen? And that's where I was thinking about making ourselves uncomfortable. We tend to be comfortable when we are in a job, when we tend to do things that we've been doing for quite some time. We get comfortable. Should we be worried when we are comfortable? Does learning happen when we remain always in our comfort zone? So this year I was thinking that I should start doing things that make me uncomfortable. And what are those things? Maybe language, maybe doing things that, uh, that you otherwise thought were difficult for you. I recently also read that if we, if we do something that 
that we have to struggle for, that we have to put more effort, our learning during that process is going to be much better. So if reading is tough for you and you spend time to read, then what you can grasp, what you can understand from that process is much more. What you can learn from that process is more. So we always talk about comfort zone, pushing up us outside the comfort zone, uh, living at the edge of that comfort zone and making sure that we are able to do things, new things, challenge ourselves. These are all things that we hear. But when I look into my life, both professional and personal life, there's so many things that I just avoid just because they are uncomfortable. And I even rationalize, I even give reasons that, you know, I'm not doing it because I don't like it. Why should I do it? And I don't find a purpose in doing that. But in that whole process of avoiding things that are uncomfortable to me, I have actually closed myself. I have decided that there are opportunities that did not come to me or opportunities that I did not realize because I did not see them coming. So this year, I think it's important for us to make ourselves uncomfortable. So I recently started an acting class. I wanted to try that. So I uh, so this is the Meisner technique, San, Meisner Stanford technique of acting. It's about repetitions. So I did my last, uh, the first class uh, last week on Tuesday. So it's for three uh, hours every week. It starts at seven o'clock and finishes at 10 o'clock. So it made me very, very uncomfortable. Because there's so much exercises, acting exercises that you find very silly, right? You do a lot of things you, and it feels very silly and it makes it very uncomfortable. And I've, I've actually acted in a movie. Uh, in 2019, I did a 30 days shoot in a, in a feature film and I, that did not make me uncomfortable. Acting in the movie, acting in front of camera, maybe because I'm making these videos and all those things. I, it did not make me uncomfortable. I mean, I've, I felt it was happening very natural to me. I did not, I didn't have to look at the camera. That's the only thing. Here I look at the camera. There I just have to ignore the camera. And that is okay. I didn't find it difficult. But, but when I went for the acting class, it really made me uncomfortable. <laughs> it, I, was, I was not in my comfort zone. I found that I... I don't know. I mean, people were supportive. It's not that people are not supportive. Everyone is there to learn. But for some reason, I I could not. And I found it. But by the end of the three hours, I felt good about it. But again, I was thinking, should I continue that? Uh, maybe after two months, I'll stop. But as, I, as I'm talking to you right now, and I'm talking about being uncomfortable, I'm thinking that, no, I should continue that course. I should continue that. It's actually two years. And I want to continue that. The only challenge I have over there is uh, is that it's from 7 to 10 on a Tuesday, which is which is okay. But I sleep at around 9 30, 10. So so that's that's my biggest challenge. But I think I think I can I can live with it. I can I can do something and I think it would add a lot of value because to even even for the videos that I make, the work that I do, when I talk to people. I don't know, there's so many times that, so many situ situations that make me uncomfortable that I'm probably avoiding. That is probably impacting the experiences that I have, that is impacting my career, that are impacting the opportunities that I have. Maybe, maybe, maybe this acting class will help me break that mold and uh, get into areas, or at least, at least, be passionate about something that makes me uncomfortable and try it, do it. And maybe it's a, it's a new way of looking at life. So I just want to share that with you. And I wanted to also share how this channel is going to be, this podcast, this video. I don't know if you're watching on uh, YouTube, then it's a video. If you're listening to it on Spotify or Apple podcast, it's a, it's a podcast for you. Either way, how is this going to be? So every week, I'm going to come and have a conversation with you. 
I don't know what the topic is going to be. Last five episodes that I did were kind of, I had some points that I spoke about, but I don't want to go there. I want to improvise because uh, even in the acting, it's all about improvisation. I want to have a theme. I want to talk about my experiences, share something that I read, something that I listened to, and uh, kind of bring them together and share it with you. Something that I think would be definitely valuable for me because I am kind of collating what I learned over the over the week. I might I might be able to share something that can take you on a different journey into into what you like to learn, what you want to learn, and push you from out of your comfort zone. So let us this year try to do things that are uncomfortable for us. Let us try to be uncomfortable, not be uncomfortable for other people. Which uh, which I think I think I might looking looking inside. I think there are times when I make other people uncomfortable. So I should try to not make other people uncomfortable, but do things that make me uncomfortable and in that process learn something new. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please, please do subscribe and I'll see you all next week. Be comfortable. No, sorry. Be uncomfortable. Thank you.